Hello and welcome back to another episode. Today I have something of a making project to share with you guys. You see, a couple of weekends ago on Sunday afternoon, I was scrolling through Facebook Marketplace, as I sometimes do, when I decided to type in a search query that I, that I sometimes return to, but rarely get decent results for. I typed in Lego Indiana Jones send. And normally what I get are a series of results that aren't particularly inspiring. Maybe an individual Lego Indie, perhaps some of the, the less appealing Lego sets. You see, just over a decade ago, Lego released a whole range of Lego sets to coincide with the release of Kingdom of the Crystal Skull. And these were a selection of scenes from across the four movies. There are a couple from Kingdom of the Crystal Skull, for example, there was, a, I think, a, a, a fight in a campsite in the jungle. There was the jungle chase with the, uh, the, the tree chopping machine in a convoy, and they didn't particularly interest me, really, if I'm honest. Uh, there was a, 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 there's a jousting, uh, the motorcycle jousting scene from uh, The Last Crusade. There was a car chase from uh, Temple of Doom when they're ch uh, being chased from Club Obi-Wan to the airport. And all of these were okay, but they're not they're not something I was going to jump at. And, and more often than not, they're hundreds of miles away anyway. So buying them is, is impractical. There was one Lego set a couple of years ago that I got that I was really happy to come across. Now, this was on eBay, mind you, but this was the uh, the Well of Souls, the, 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 the hole in the ground that the Indian Marion had chucked into in Raiders of the Lost Ark. Uh, having just uh, uh, recovered the, the Ark of the Covenant and the snakes on the ground and this kind of thing. And that Lego set is brilliant. It's just up there on my other office wall and it's fantastic. The Ark of the Covenant is there. There's a statue that Indy's on that will fall over. There's a whole lot of snakes waiting to be poured into the room. There's even uh, the, um, the Easter egg of uh, R2-D2 and C-3PO in the stickers on the wall. The whole thing is so well thought out and so evocative of Indy. But I, that I rarely expect such things when I search on Facebook Marketplace. But in this instance, a result was before me that I, I had sort of ejected from my brain. I think because I never thought I'd be able to own this set. You see, I couldn't afford it when it came out. And it's only become more and more expensive over time. It goes for 300 plus pounds on Amazon and eBay. And... I'm, I'm talking, of course, about the, the Temple Escape set, the whole opening sequence from the beginning of Raiders of the Lost Ark, represented in Lego. And it was there, and it was only £50, and only 20 minutes away by car. So my amazing wife, and this is yet again a way in which you know that you've married the right person, my amazing wife was like, you've got, you've got to get this. So I was in the car and I was away. I was like, it was like a cartoon. <laughs> you know, and and uh, I, I got hold of the set. And I think maybe the guy was selling it for friendly 50 uh, because it wasn't complete. He, he, was, he went to great pains to explain, well, it doesn't have the box and it does have the instructions, but it doesn't have the boulder, the boulder that chases in the out of the temple in the movie. And I was like, oh, no, that's fine. No worries. I was so excited to get this thing. So I brought it home and I started to research the boulder. Now, the boulder uh, is quite boring. It's just like a grey ball. It's like a giant ping pong ball, really. Uh, it alone goes for 47 plus dollars on brick reselling sites, it seems. And you can see why it would get lost easily. You know, it doesn't seem to have had Lego branding on it if it rolls around in the house mum or dad or a pet or someone's just going to go what's this and gnaw on it or throw it away or something so you can see why it gets lost but also it doesn't look particularly like a boulder if i'm honest it's just a gray ball now from from the the reselling websites i was able to get its dimensions and so i decided to replicate the boulder for the set which incidentally sorry it's, it's just behind me the uh, the whole scene is just here um on the shelf sorry i should have mentioned that um just there but I decided to replicate the boulder using um, uh, some tin foil. First of all, I rolled a tin foil ball because it needed to be quite light. It didn't actually want to damage or break the set every time it rolled um, from its housing or resting place. And then I covered the ball in foam clay or silk clay. Uh, I had to use two colors to get enough 
uh, black and white. Uh, I used a, uh, a couple of different, you know, texturing tools and my finger to sort of fingernails and stuff to sort of texture the ball, and then carefully painted it, you know, splodging on black and then dark grey and then a lighter grey, and then I sort of did dry brushing on it to make it look like a, a, a boulder. And while it's a little bit bigger than 52 millimeters in diameter, it's more like 55 uh, in total. It is, I think, a really nice replacement. It's a beautiful little ball and it sits in the set really well. I think it actually looks, it makes the whole thing, well, it ties the whole thing together. It looks like a little stone ball. And it's the perfect weight as well to roll down the hill and chase Indy out of the temple. So I made the ball, uh, but there was one other thing that that the set was missing, and that was some key stickers. The, uh, the guy who sold it to me was saying how um, when he was putting it together as a kid, he got really excited, and he didn't he didn't uh, actually make use of all the stickers initially. And there was there was two stickers in particular that I really wanted to try and replicate or replace. And that was the, uh, the the registration on the side of the plane. So not only do we have the temple, but we also have the plane waiting to, to fly Indy away, complete with snake. I hate snakes, Jack, I hate them. Um, and uh, on the side of the plane, it says OB CPO. Now this, this is a Star, another Star Wars Easter egg. Uh, it was um, it's on, on the on the vehicle in the movie Obi Wan C three PO, uh, but but the uh, the stickers for the set also go for about twenty quid online, but they're they're, really, they're quite a generic font. They're not quite the right font. The the font on the on the plane in the movie uh, and indeed the font that I found to to replicate the stickers is called military block. It's almost like someone taking a paintbrush and blocked out uh, the letters. So there's no real curves, it's just like a series of straight lines. And so I, I went online, I found a, an appropriate font, printed out on stickers, and then covered, uh, when I'd sort of stuck the stickers to the, to, the, to the model, covered the whole thing with acid-free bookbinders tape, which is a, a really good tape that's used for fixing the spines of books. My, uh, my mum, for example, when she worked in the library, always had some of this tape around. And that tape, uh, it doesn't, um, doesn't yellow with age, so it's UV resistant, uh, and it doesn't, uh, it, it won't ruin the brick because it's acid free. So it's sealed, it looks, mwah, chef's kiss, perfect for the, for the, for the, for the set. And and the whole thing was just a, uh, such a pleasure to put together. Uh, first of all, I did the knolling. So I laid, well, actually me uh, and, and my amazing wife, we knolled to the set. We laid the whole thing out on the coffee table. And then I went through the two books, which were, which were in pretty good condition, actually, the two instruction books, and, and put the whole thing together. And now here it is behind me. And uh, I've, I've set it up so that we have the, the scene set perfectly. Indy is about to, uh, to, to, to consider picking up the, the, the statue, the idol, um, which incidentally actually I have, I have a copy of, hang on, a copy of the idol. Oh. If I can, ah, it's quite heavy. It's made out of cast, I think probably cast um, plaster actually, it's heavy. Uh, Yes, it's, it's like a fertility idol. Um, so Indy's about to pick up the idol from inside the temple. Uh, you have uh, his treacherous assistant, played by Alfred Molina, watching with the, with the flaming torch behind him. Uh, and the whole, the, the, the whole thing is so, just so exciting. Uh, the moment you pick up the, um, the the statue, actually, the 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 temple goes, the chaos ensues. So uh, the um, the statue sort of falls from behind and. Uh, blocks fall off it. It's all set up to be, um, well, kind of like the movie. <sighs> and it was so much fun. Not only getting it and putting it, putting it together, but also somewhat restoring it uh, and making it so that so there's it's just that bit more evocative of of the the scene that I probably love most in all of Indiana Jones. And let's face it, I think most people uh, love the uh, the temple escape from the beginning. Oh yeah, speaking of which, uh, Belloc is is in is in the Lego set as well. The guy who is, is it the, you know, the French archaeologist is like, if only you spoke Hobbitos, Indy, you could warn them. Ha ha ha. It's been a while since I've worn this hat as well. Uh, I'm just basically giddy. I'm giddy at this stage. It was so much fun, and 
uh, absolutely worth fifty pounds of my 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 time and money. And I simply had to share it with you today. Now, I, 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 once again, I didn't film the making process. I was thinking to myself, maybe I should have a time lapse of this sort of thing where I was sort of rolling the ball and painting it and this kind of thing. And maybe that's what I'll do from now on. I could just set up my phone, put it on a tripod and, and you know, use that footage for this sort of thing. But I did take photos of every step. So at the very least, I've shared that uh, in some form. Hopefully this has been interesting and or fun for you guys. It's definitely been fun for me. And it's, it's I think of, of all the Lego sets, all the India, Indiana Jones Lego sets, uh, the Temple Escape and the Well of Souls are the two that I just have to have. I just, I just had to have it in my life, uh, especially when it was so, so on my doorstep and so affordable compared to its online price. Um, <sighs> wonderful and now now i get to get to to, to reenact the scene whenever i want <laughs> thank you guys for watching as ever until next time do take care bye bye